you know, of the big four pay-per-views during this crappy WWE era, Survivor Series is probably the one that gets me the most upset because in my opinion, it's the one that's been most robbed of its identity. I mean, don't you remember what Survivor Series used to be about, you know? The Thanksgiving tradition where teams of four or five strive to survive, right? You know, it was about storyline and build up, bring all these people together to form all these alliances, you know, each with their own unique identity and their own purpose for why they're going into battle. You know, you had the Hulkamaniacs and they were like the All-American team, you know, with Hogan and Boss Man and Tugboat and Hacksaw. Then you had like the Million Dollar Team and it was always with like Ted DiBiase and his hired thugs to take down one of the wrestlers. And then you had like the Warriors and they were always like the cool team, you know, they had like LOD and the Rockers and they took on the Heenan family, you know. It, the Survivor Series was always about purpose-based alliances formed from storyline each with their own cause and their own flag that they carried into battle, all right? It's not about these random teams just thrown together two weeks before the show starts, you know? That's meaningless. It's embarrassing, and it's an insult to what Survivor Series once stood for, all right? Like, can anyone even run down the names of the people in these new teams right now, you know? They don't represent anything, all right? Yes. Survivor Series is about elimination matches, but it's also about the teams, the alliances, and the build-up to the teams, and what they represent, all right? This, this garbage, ra it's not even Survivor Series, you know? It's not, it's like a shell of Survivor Series. It's, it's more like a Survivor Series light, you know? It's like a diet version of Survivor Series. All right, so the elimination matches are a joke. So let's see what other matches we can talk about on here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Jericho versus Cena. Yeah, that's right. Chris Jericho versus John Cena. Hmm, wait a minute. Am I giving a Survivor Series preview or a SummerSlam 05 review? Hmm. L l let's think about this for a second. What are the difference between the two matches? Oh yeah, that's right. The SummerSlam 05 match is the one that actually had build up in storyline. Yeah, that's right. They had the ongoing feud and they had the whole rap versus rock thing. They actually had true build up going in. You know, as opposed to this new one which pretty much has nothing besides the fact that one of the guys has been gone for two months. Hmm. So let's think about this for a second. Both matches will probably end up being pretty comparable. But, basically, if the superior version already happened, then why the fuck should I care about this one? Alright, so let's see what other matches are on here. Alright, the Taker in his signature match versus the Big Show. Slash Yokozuna slash Kamala. Yes, indeedy, ladies and gentlemen, this is the same old shit, all right? First of all, the match itself is going to suck, all right? The only way any of these matches ever work is if the taker's fighting someone like Shawn Michaels or Mick Foley or somebody, all right? But other than that, all right, the match is going to suck, all right? They might have some spots planned out, maybe somebody goes through the table or something, but other than that, it's going to be the same old slow punches outside the ring, you know, someone gets thrown into the stairs, same old shit, okay? And on top of that, you know, all these matches end one of two ways, all right? Either The Undertaker wins triumphantly or the bad guy somehow cheats to win and then The Undertaker makes his triumphant return later on. You know, come on, you know? Is there anybody actually defending this match? I mean, what, what is this, your first pay-per-view? And finally, we have our main event, which pits Triple H putting his belt on the line against Kurrigan, the interrogator. Kurrigan, the interrogator. What the hell is he doing in my main event? Shouldn't he be dancing around with the oddities? You know, but now, not only is he in a match for the World Heavyweight Championship, people are actually cheering for him to win. Oh, my goodness. It's a joke, okay? It's a complete joke. 
Survivor Series has become a joke, and the WWE has become a joke. And am I BSing? Am I just being biased? I don't think so. After all, the legacy and greatness of the WWE from times before is well documented, alright? Both on tape and in the memories of millions of wrestling fans. The main problem with the WWE right now is not that they're currently sucking, alright? It's their absolute refusal to get any better, because personally, I'll stick around with a wrestling promotion, even if they're sucking for a little while, so long as I'm truly confident that they are working their asses off to fix the problems. With the WWE, not only are they not fixing the problem, they're adding to the damage, okay? Which is why we can't stick around, alright? Which is why people are leaving, because there is nothing to look forward to. I mean, after Ship Viver Series, what do we got, alright? We got, are we sucking? Followed by the Royal Stumble and No Way Good leading in to Entertainia 25. I mean, come on. There's no choice but to go to TNA.